So the Human Rights Council will open its 52nd session this coming Monday. The session will last for five weeks, five and a half weeks, actually. This is the longest, incidentally, the longest Human Rights Council session since the Council started meeting in 2006. So from the 27th of February to the 4th of April. Now on Monday, as noted by Alessandra, the session will open at 9 a.m. in room 20. It'll open with opening remarks from uh, the president of the council for this year, Václav Aglek of the Czech Republic, who briefed you on Wednesday in a background briefing, followed by an address from the by the president of the General Assembly, uh, Shaba Kuroshi, then Secretary General Antoni Guterres, followed by uh, the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk. Uh, now, this will be his first uh, address to the Human Rights Council since he took over last uh, September. Um, he did brief the Human Rights Council on different, in, uh, different occasions last year, but this is his first regular session to the Human Rights Council. Following Mr. Turk, we'll hear from the Federal Council and Head of the, uh, the Federal Department of Foreign Affairs of Switzerland, the host country, um, Mr. Ignacio Cassis. So all these statements will be in person from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock roughly on Monday morning. Thereafter, just before 10 a.m., the Council's high-level segment will begin. Now, we have 46 dignitaries expected to speak on Monday alone. Among them are three heads of state for the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Montenegro, and Colombia. The high-level segment will continue Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week. In total, we have 146 dignitaries inscribed to speak. Uh, nearly 100 of them will be in person. Now, this is uh, another new record. We, this is the highest number of dignitaries we've had at a high level segment of the Human Rights Council. The full list of speakers is available online. And if you can't find it, I will be sharing with you after this briefing regardless. And do take a look at that because it is still a moving target, some names and maybe added or removed or changed around in order. At 4 p.m. on Monday afternoon, the high-level segment will be paused briefly for the convening of the Council's annual high-level panel discussion on human rights mainstreaming. Now, this year's panel addresses youth engagement, empowerment in the work of, and empowerment in the work of the United Nations. And it carries a theme, a reflection on five years of the United Nations youth strategy, Youth 2030, mapping a blueprint for the next steps. The panel will feature an opening statement by the High Commission for Human Rights, as well as the UN Secretary General's Youth Envoy, Ms. Jayathma Wikram Yanaki, if I hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, now, panelists including uh, will include representatives from the UN Population Fund, UNESCO, the International Labor Organization. Do take a look at the concept note, which is available online. In terms of some logistics housekeeping, the entire session will be webcast in the six languages as usual. Press summaries will be produced courtesy of UNIS. Statements will be available on the extranet. Arrangements have also been made, thanks to our colleagues at UNTV, to share videos and photographs as well for the high-level segment. And as Alessandra mentioned, I would only echo how important it is to maybe arrive as early as possible, given all the security restrictions. Access to room 20, we will have uh, the usual screening outside by the Peace Gate, as well as in front of room 20. So do get there as early as you can. We do have limited seats in the room, roughly 25 seats for journalists. If you are not able to be accommodated inside the room, we will have the spillover room in room 19, just, on, just in front of uh, room 20. So please um, um, be mindful of that. Um, so note to correspondence, I think has all the details, so you can consult that. If in doubt, do contact, uh, of, of course, uh, Eunice or, or uh, my, uh, Pascal, Matt, or myself. Uh, media updates will be sent uh, every day starting this afternoon, spelling out the program for the following day. We have a link in there to SCED, C-S-C-H-E-D, however, if you're British or not, SCED or SHED, however you pronounce it, SCED is the way I pronounce it. It is a very useful app. I recommend that you download that. That will give you the live program updates with all the changes, and the, the program will be changing over the course of the days. Uh, so we again, we will uh, send out the media update this afternoon. and. Hopefully we will be facilitating your work in every way possible. Thank you.